Hey beautiful, welcome back. My name is Nige. So how long will it take your hair to lock? Well, it may take between six months to a year or it may take between 10 months to like two years. But with patience and daily moisturizing, your hair will eventually lock. However, it differs from one person to another, from one hair type to another. Someone that is intentional with his hair maintenance will get there faster than someone that is not. And the one that is doing all the wrong things to his hair, I've mentioned this several times on my channel in my lock content that all locks are distinct. Every curl pattern is different. If you have coarse afro kinky hair, your hair may lock as early as three months depending on what starter lock that you started with it may be two strand twist braid locks comb curls or even instant lock but for loose coily hair this hair pattern is stubborn it's a rebel because this hair pattern is wild each curls can have different curl pattern in fact if you want to see god's work on display study course pattern of this hair type you'll be amazed at what you'll see also this hair type could either be dense or less dense it could be coarse or not so coarse and it could also be soft and slippery and so the frizz is all over the place it could take like it could take between six months to two years for this hair type to lock up. This hair is going to lock up faster than less dense hair. This is because the tangling and the marrying process of lock. We need more hair to tangle and lock and so the more the hair strands per lock, the faster the hair is going to lock up. So now let's talk about frizz. People complain a lot about frizz. <laughs> and I don't blame them because this is the stage where your hair appear rough and unruly and unkempt. Okay, a lot of people dread this. It's funny I'm using this word. Like what I mean is that a lot of people, they don't look forward to this or they become weary of this stage. But freeze is a great thing. Freeze leads to budding. And budding is the process where your hair begins to melt and swell. It is the natural step that leads to locking. So you need to embrace the freeze stage. Don't cut them out or palm roll them. If you palm roll them too early or too often, you're going to cause thinning and breaking of your locks. And that will be unfortunate. So. If you've gotten all the information down or you are committing it to memory, then you need to know the stages at which your hair will get to before it eventually locks permanently. You might find it to be less or more, but you know, from different people's perceptions, it all boils down to four stages. And the first stage is baby lock this stage takes about three to six months after your lock installation with respect to the starter lock that you started with this is the stage where you experience freeze as time goes on the freeze become more you know and more and this is when you begin to experience also itching along the long journey you want to make sure that you are taking care of your scalp at this stage you are getting used to what is working for you and what is not working for you and then the next stage which is the second stage is the boarding stage at boarding stage the freeze is almost uncontrollable okay like so much depending on your hair type actually this is when um, lumps begin to appear on each strand of your lock it's not going to be all the strand like maybe like one or two or maybe more depending on your hair type as well the lumps could be little or it could be big it depends on the size of you it depends on the size of the lock that you are carrying the bigger the size of your lock the bigger the lumps will appear and the smaller the size of your lock the smaller the 
the smaller the lock will appear or it might not even appear at all like people that carries micro locks sister locks hardly you know experience lumps in their locks but you know <laughs> some hair type actually shows it regardless of the size of lock they are carrying and the third stage is the teenage stage the teenage stage is when your your locks begin to experience less unraveling and they are getting thicker they are getting harder and longer like you are experiencing length retention you are seeing your hair is growing you know longer and i must say that this is the stage where i am my hair is about 1.5 years old and I, I have a couple of vlogs that that are hard now in fact you, you won't believe all the things that I have to go through in order for me to get used to this because of course it's going to be different from how you started out when you when you first install your locks the hair are going to be soft okay because they've not started matting up and tangling and becoming hard it will still appear soft but the moment they begin to feel hard to touch and then you begin to see length retention and the hair has swollen and become thick you've got into the teenage stage okay you probably might not know the difference right now because um i don't know if i see one of my pictures of where i started out i'll show you compared to how my hair is appearing now this hair that this strand that you are looking at is like i started out like this this length okay and this is what i'm having now and right now it's so thick and it's strong there are some that actually feels as if <laughs> there's something in them really <laughs> like a falling victim of them like i was just trying to look at look out for what is making them to be so hard but now i know better i know the stage where it is so at this stage we experience all that and immediately after teenage stage this is when your hair will now become matured okay like teenage stage you're maturing but you are not fully mature the lock is not fully matured when it gets to the mature stage this stage can start within 18 months to like 36 months now that's like three years your hair would have become you know completely locked except the roots of the hair that is coming out and you're trying to incorporate into the old you know lock this mature stage is when your hair is going to look locked and it's going to feel locked to the to the touch so like i said earlier on it really all boils down to your kind of person the things that you're doing to the hair the type of hair that you have so if your friend's hair appear locked before your own just know that you don't have the same type of hair okay so that will be all guys thank you once again for tuning in don't forget to give this video a thumbs up stay blessed stay beautiful and i'll see you in my next video bye guys